This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10. Today we're going to talk about solving mole problems. A mole is defined as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, really 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of anything, atoms, molecules, even golf balls. A mole of carbon atoms would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms, and a mole of water molecules would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. Since H2O, water, contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, contains two hydrogen atoms because of that subscript 2 following the H, we know that a mole of water molecules contains two moles of hydrogen atoms, or 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms, which equals 1.204 times 10 to the 23rd. And one mole of water molecules contains only one mole of oxygen atoms, so that would be 1 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, or 1 times itself is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen atoms. So in other words, H2O contains two times as many hydrogen atoms as it contains oxygen atoms. Let's look at the mass of one mole of water. To find the mass, we look on the periodic table. We see that the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.0079 grams per mole, and the molar mass of oxygen is 15.999 grams per mole. So the mass of one mole of hydrogen atoms is 1.0079 grams. We know that water contains two moles of hydrogen atoms, so it contains twice that amount, or 2.0158 grams. Every mole of water contains approximately two grams of hydrogen, and every mole of water contains one mole of oxygen atoms, which weigh 15.999 grams per mole. The molar mass of H2O altogether, then, is two hydrogen atoms with a molar mass of 2.0158 grams, plus one oxygen atom, which is 15.999 grams. We add that together, and we get a molar mass of 18.0148 grams. So one mole of water has a mass of approximately 18 grams and contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. It goes to reason, then, if you had half a mole of water, it would weigh half as much. It would weigh 9 grams and have half, half as many molecules, or 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Let's consider 2 moles. 2 moles of water would have what mass and contain how many molecules? If you guess that 2 moles of water would contain twice the mass of 1 mole of water, or 36 grams, you'd be right and it, that it would contain twice the number of molecules as a mole. If one mole contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, then two moles would contain twice as many, or 1.204 times 10 to the 24 molecules. Let's look at a sample mole problem. What is the mass of 3.14 moles of water? We've already talked about the mass of one mole of water being approximately 18 grams. So we would think that if we had three moles of water, we'd have three times that amount, or in this case, 3.14 moles, which would be 3.14 times that amount. But let's solve this problem stepwise. What do we want to find out? We want to find out the number of grams of water we have. And we're given that we're starting off with 3.14 moles. We need to be able to convert from moles of water to grams of water. To do that, we need to know the mass of one mole of water. The mass of one mole of water is approximately 18.01 grams. Now we can set up our problem. We set up, up our problem starting with question mark wanted. How many grams of water is equal to the given 3.14 moles of water dot line or times line? We set up our conversion factor so that the moles of water cancel out. So you see here one mole of water is part of our conversion factor. So we're going to put one mole of water in the, in the denominator, which is going to cancel out the units moles of water in the numerator. And of course, you know that one mole of water is equal to 18.01 grams and the units moles of water cancel out. And we multiply the numerators across and divide by the denominator, which is one, and we get 56.6 grams of water in the three sig figs that we started off with. Our problem was given in three sig figs, so our answer is in three sig figs. Three moles of water, or 3.14 moles of water rather, is 3.14 times 18.01, or 56.6 .6 grams of water. Sample mole problem number two. How many molecules are in 3.14 moles of water? So we've already figured out how much it weighs. So now we want to know how many molecules. So our wanted is the number of molecules. And our given, again, is 3.14 moles. 
We know that one mole of water contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water, so we'd expect 3.14 moles of water to contain 3.14 times as many molecules. So our conversion factor to go from moles to molecules, we need to know that one mole contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. We set up our problem question mark wanted equals given dot line. Question mark molecules is equal to 3.14 moles dot line. We set up our conversion factor so that moles cancel out. So we have one mole of water. We're going to put that in the denominator. One mole of water is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. The units moles of water cancel out and we multiply our numerators together and divide by our denominators and we get that 3.14 moles of water contain 1.89 times 10 to the 24 molecules of water. Sample problem number three. How many hydrogen atoms are in 3.14 moles of water? We already calculated how many water molecules are in 3.14 moles, but how many hydrogen atoms are in that? And what we need to know is that there are two hydrogen atoms in every water molecule. So we want to know how many hydrogen atoms when we're given our same 3.14 moles of water. Our conversion factors, well, we have two of them. First of all, we need to know that for every mole of water, we have two moles of hydrogen atoms. And of course, that one mole of hydrogen atoms is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So we set up our problem, question mark wanted, how many hydrogen atoms is equal to 3.14 moles of water? To cancel out moles of water, we need to put moles of water in the denominator. And we know that one mole of water contains two moles of hydrogen atoms. So the moles of water cancel out. Now we need to convert moles of hydrogen to the number of atoms of hydrogen. And we know for every one mole of hydrogen, notice how, now that the units moles of hydrogen will cancel out, one mole of hydrogen contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, and the units moles of hydrogen cancel out. We multiply the numerators together and divide by the denominators, and we get 3.78 times 10 to the 24 hydrogen atoms, which should be twice the number of particles as the number of water molecules. Sample mole problem number four. How many atoms are in a 3.56 gram sample of copper? So our wanted is how many atoms of copper, and our given is 3.56 grams of copper. To figure out our conversion factors, we need to know a couple things. We need to know what the mass of one mole of copper is, so we can go from grams to moles, and then we know that for every mole of copper, that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So looking at the periodic table, we need to figure out the mass of a mole of copper. Here's copper. One mole of copper has a mass of 63.546 grams. Since one mole of copper has a mass of 63.546 grams, our given amount, 3.56 grams, is far less than a mole, so we should have far fewer than 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So our other conversion factor, we know that Every mole of copper contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Setting up our problem, question mark wanted equals given dot line. Question mark atoms is equal to 3.56 grams of copper dot line. We set up our conversion factors so that grams of copper, the units, grams of copper cancels out. So we're going to put 63.546 grams of copper is equal to one mole of copper. So the grams of copper cancel out, not the numbers, just the units. Now we need to convert the moles of copper to atoms of copper, so we're going to need another conversion factor. And of course we want to set up our conversions factor so that the moles of copper are in the denominator, so we know that one mole of copper contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Moles of copper cancel out, and we're left with our answer in atoms. We just multiply the numerators together and divide by the denominators, and we get 3.37 times 10 to the 22nd copper atoms. To get more stoichiometry help and a free gift, visit purplestoic.com. This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10.